so hey guys welcome back once again and in today's video i'm just gonna talk about my mega workflow on confi ui this is a part two of my mega workflow in which i have added control net section over here so basically guys i have already made a mega workflow part one you can say of this workflow in which i have already explained text to image section over here on the top and on the bottom you can see image to image section also over here and let me tell you guys there are two things also going on over here you can definitely see latent high res upscale also going on and a simple upscale image also going on so basically this is a mega workflow that i am creating and in this video i will only focus on control net section so this is the latest addition to my workflow and let me tell you guys if you are new to this video i have already explained a detailed video about my mega workflow earlier on once again let me tell you control net section is new to this workflow so guys as you know this is the mega workflow that i am creating and to make things simple i have already made the things simple over here for you to work on with this workflow let me tell you guys i have already made some of the connectors that you should focus on as you can see over here on top right is a text to image connector so basically this is the connector you can connect with text to image if you want to work with text to image and on bottom you can see image to image connector as well so basically if you want to work with image to image section then you need to connect this or disconnect this so that's the thing and this on the bottom these connectors are image to image prompt connector basically this is prompt connected over here and top over here as well text to image prompt connect basically these are not that necessary i will let you know which connectors are very important for you to focus on and if i come here ahead you can definitely see this is a control net section and for control net section as well i have already made control net connectors to text to image because if you want to connect control net section to text to image then this is the connector and if you want to connect control net section to image to image section then this is the connector that you should use so these are the connectors that i have made and there is one more connector going on over here and that's latent character so basically in order to if you want to use latent high res upscale on text to image and on image to image then you should use this connector in order to connect this like this okay so this is text to image and this is image to image so that's how you can use this connector and now let me tell you important connectors that you should focus on so text to image connector is the important connector image to image connector is the important connector and the control net connectors over here control net text to image connector control net image to image connector and basically this latent connector so these are the only connectors that you should focus focus on and now let's begin working on this workflow so first of all now let me explain you this over here so this is basically control net model selector over here i have only added two of the models scanning model and depth model and this is over here this is an image loader so basically you can upload image over here let's upload any image let's go with any of the image over here just like this let's go with any of the image and yes the image is uploaded over here over here is scanning edge processor and on this over here is this strength of the control net okay so that's the only thing that you need to work on and now if i want to connect this workflow like you can see over here right now they are disconnected this is disconnected not connect to any of the thing and this also image to image section is not connected to any of the thing over here so basically now control net section is disconnected so in order to work with the control net section the only thing that you need to do is that you just need to connect this so where you need to connect this is you need to connect it on the positive prompt so that's the only thing that you need to do and basically now control net section is connected to my positive prompt and text to image is now connected and over here you can see yes image to image is also connected over here so if i so right now i don't want to work with image to image section so what i will do i will just disconnect it vae so right now image to image is disconnected and yes if i go on to over here you can see text to image connector is connected and yes we are ready to go with and let's see what result do we get so guys as you can see over here that is the result that i got if you see over here this is the result that i got and let me show you one again so this was the prompt that i was using and yes i was using realistic vision 1.3 model okay so that was the model that i was using and you can see image to image was disconnected so image to image was disconnected and definitely there was no result over here on image to image section and yes on text to image definitely there is a result over here so basically my control net is working and if you want if you don't want to work with control net text to image section the only thing that you need to do is that you just need to connect this section over here because this is a text to image prompt simple text to image prompt and you just need to connect it over here so that's the only thing that you need to connect and now it is disconnected control 
control net is disconnected from text to image section so now if i want to work with image to image section in image to image section as well there is a connector connected to positive prompt so basically image to image prompt is also connected over here to positive and if i want to work with image to image section what i will do i will just connect this connector control net connector to positive prompt over here and this will automatically get disconnected and now if i want to work with image to image section let's first of all upload any of the image over here let's go with blue image over here okay let's open this and it is basically loaded now and if i want to connect we have already disconnected image to image section right so basically this red one is vae and the blue one is the model i have already explained in the earlier video this thing so now let's connect this thing and now image to image is connected and what we will do is that we will try to disconnect this as well let's disconnect text to image connector because we are not working with text to image connector right so now let's go and now we will see that image to image is connected over here and yes control net section control net section is also connected to image to image section okay you can definitely see that so now let's generate and let's see what result do we get an image to image section and this time we won't get result on text to image section let's see let's generate and let's see what result do we get so guys as here you can see this is the result that i got on image to image section definitely that's the result that i got and if i show you this result on text to image section as i said earlier that text to image was not connected and this was the earlier result right so basically this was not connected and control net was connected to image to image section so basically that's the result that i want and yes simply if you want to upscale these images like text to image and image to image section then basically you can connect this connector as well if you want to upscale with this workflow so that's how i have already made this and yes the earlier video the part one video was also a detailed video and now one of the important thing that i wanted you to explain is that let me come on over here let's go and let me explain this thing so if you want to work with different preprocessor in confi ui you need to change on this as well as you can see this was a canny edge preprocessor so what if i want to work with depth model let's go with depth model and this is not a depth preprocessor right so the only thing that you need to do is that remove this go on to add node over here and in add node go on to preprocessor and you can see midas depth map preprocessor pre that's the only thing and this is added over here and now the only thing you need to connect this thing and this is very important so in order to connect this image you need to connect image to image over here so basically image is connected over here and the next thing that you need to do connect this image this output to two things the first thing this will go to this preview image because here we will preview the depth map so here is the depth map that will generate and this image will also go to this image so basically the output of this image will go to two things one is control net apply and one is preview image over here so that's the only thing that you need to do and now let's generate and let's see what result do we get so now guys as you can see depth map is generated over here because we were using depth map preprocessor and depth model and yes image to image is connected over here so basically you can see over here it is generating the image is generating and let's see what result do we get so that is the result that i got with depth mass and depth preprocessor and depth model so that's how you can go and work with and if you want to work with both let me tell you you can also work with both of the things now my image to image is connected as well and let's connect this as well let's go with this so basically now both of them are connect control net section text to image is also connected control net section image to image is also connected over here and now first of all let's connect this over here because we need to connect this as well the red one is vae we need to connect vae over here so basically everything is connected text to image is also connected image to image is also connected and both of the control net models are also connected and now let's generate and let's see what result do we get so guys as you can see over here text to image is loading over here and let's see what result do we get now with text to image so that's the result that i got with control net image to text to image section and over here bottom you can see image to image is working as well so let's see now what result do we get with image to image section as well so guys as you can see that is the result that i got with image to image section control net so basically both are working it's very simple to work on with this you just need to connect and disconnect things okay once you learn 
learn this thing then it's very simple so that's the only thing that i want to talk about this workflow and yes i will be adding more and more things in this workflow as well so stay tuned and yes i am just challenging myself in order to create mega workflows so yeah that's the basic thing that i wanted to talk about this is a part two and if i add new things to this workflow then yes definitely i will make the video as well so that's the only thing that i wanted to talk about this video and yes i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow till then have a good day bye guys love you all